Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Gmail and Google Workspace consultant, trainer, and coach. And this is video number one in the series. This is video number one in the series. There'll be a whole lot more videos to come, so I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button down there so you can catch the other videos as I create them. Here's the number one conversation. If you're just brand new to Gmail or Google Workspace, you're gonna have this kind of a message here. Customize your inbox, put a profile image, import contacts, and get Gmail for mobile. Uh, by the way, I don't use Gmail for mobile. I have it on my iPhone, but I actually set my iPhone up so that my Gmail uh, email goes directly to my iPhone messaging. It's way easier, and I'll show that to you soon. So I'm gonna leave that there for right now, but what I wanna show you is this and that is email signature. Let me show you how to do your email signature. And, and if you don't have an email signature, when you create a new email, it's gonna to be totally blank. And you wanna have a signature. You really do wanna have a signature as your name, your phone number, your web address, your email um, uh, address, um, and some other information. I'll show you what I'm talking about and how to do it. Watch this. Click on settings, click on see all settings, go to general, and by the way, you're going to want to look through this and make some adjustments so it works the way you want it to work. And if I scroll down to here, you'll see signatures. Now, here's where I can create signatures. I can have multiple email signatures. So I can have a, an email signature that goes out with new messages. I can have an email signature for replies. I could create other email signatures that I use for different types of times of the year, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, one email signature will work very well. Create a new one. Give it a name. I'm gonna just simply call it default. Hit create. Here it is right here, and it's totally blank. Now here's what I recommend you put. By the way, I put an extra line, or maybe two. It's okay. And then I put my name. I put my title. I put my company name. my phone number. Then I repeat my email address. And the reason why I do that is if someone forwards my email to someone else, I know they're going to get my email signature. So I put my email signature in there, or excuse me, my email address. I put my, um, my web address. And if I want to, I could also put my LinkedIn profile URL. And then what's really interesting, if you want to, I can make this bold. I can make this a hyperlink, highlight that, make it a hyperlink, just hit Control K, it'll make it a hyperlink by default. Um, then I can make this a hyperlink. And I can make this hyperlink. All I'm doing is hitting Control K. I could just as easily hit that button, but I'm hitting Control, or excuse me, or Command K. And those are hyperlinks. Now. What I want to do next is choose where to use it. I want to use my signature for new emails, and I want to use it for replies and forwards. So it's going to put this email signature on the bottom of every message I create and every reply or forward I do. One more step is make sure you, in, un, you check this, insert a signature before the quoted text, which means before if it's a reply, and get rid of that space. It used to have a double dash space. Now I want to hit save. Now when I hit a new message, remember I told you I put a couple extra lines in there, otherwise it would just had one line, and there's my email signature, name, my title, company, phone number, email address, web address, and my LinkedIn profile URL, okay? So this will go out with every message that I send and every reply or response that I do for messages that come into me. I strongly recommend you have an email signature at the very least, your name, email address, and phone number. But if you're using it for business, give them a little bit more information so they know a little bit more about you as you're engaging with them. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail consultant, and I hope you have fun creating your email signature.